with the announcement that Patrick Stewart's returning to the final frontier, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Trek Next Generation 7th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition Starship Enterprise. So stay tuned. As I said in the intro, it was announced at the Star Trek Las Vegas convention this past week, Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart is returning to the role that made him famous. He is returning as Jean-Luc Picard in a new Star Trek series for CBS All Access. And so because of that, I thought it would be the perfect time to go over this Star Trek The Next Generation 7th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition Starship Enterprise Limited Edition Gold Decorated USS Enterprise. As you can see here, here's the box that came in. Came, yes, I took it out. Took it out of the box, put it up for display. Nice little window display here. I picked this up from Primary Colors Rel Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois for about 40 bucks, which is a price you cannot beat if you look on eBay for or Amazon for an electronic enterprise this size, you're going to pay close to about 100 bucks. Same place I got my other electronic enterprise and this enterprise is actually one scale bigger than the TNG electronic enterprise. As you can see here, let me aim it down a little bit. There we go. Highly detailed 15 inch gold decorated replica of the Starship Enterprise. Individually numbered metalized plaque, detachable Starfleet insignia base, a display base, four authentic Starship sounds, warp drive, impulse power, phasers, and four to photon torpedoes, dual light up engines. Now, as well as certificate of authenticity. The thing with the electronics, they're exactly the same as that enterprise right there move my light out of the way i reviewed a few weeks ago on the show exactly the same all the sounds are the same the lights are the same everything it's just one scale bigger and a different paint job so now this one was number 19,273 of 50,000 made it was made by playmates toys the same ones that made the other Enterprise that I just showed you. Here's the bottom of the box. There it is on its display stand. Same thing on the side. And then the back. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom in on each one of these. Now let's go ahead and move it over and zoom in on the display here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move the box out of the way. Um, actually, real quick, before we do that, let's go ahead and zoom in over on this area over here. Let you guys read that. Now let's go ahead and move the box out of the way and we'll take a look at the Enterprise. Let's go ahead and start off with the base and then we'll move our work our way up. As you can see, Starfleet emblem, Star Trek The Next Generation there. And the placard, 7th Anniversary Special Edition Starship Enterprise. And with the uh, number, can't really make it out right off hand. According to the box, it is limited edition number 19273 of 50,000. And that is, it's all plastic. This looks more metallic. I think it's just a harder plastic made to look metallic. And the display base, as you can see, it comes right up to where the batteries would go. Uh, it actually attaches right where the batteries go and it came with a separate plate so that you don't have to have it on the display base 
you can just put the plate there and hang it like I did with that Enterprise. Uh, of course, that Enterprise did not come with a display stand. That's why I've got it hanging. And then we move our way up. Very nice look. Exactly the same style as the other Enterprise I just showed you guys. Exact same electronics, exact same lights and sounds. In fact, I'll prove it to you right now. Okay, there was a warp drive. Phasers. Photon torpedoes. Now, if we move up to this Enterprise. Let's go ahead and play the sound on it. Forward thrusters. Okay, the golden, the limited edition gold enterprises forward thrusters are a lot longer than the original Playmates Enterprise. Now we have the warp drive. Warp drive. About the same. About the same. Back to this one. Phasers. Phasers. I will say it sounds a lot cleaner on this one. Maybe a little bit louder too. And then this one, photon torpedoes. Photon torpedoes. A slight different sound, but pretty much the same, the same bass sounds. Uh, and again, bottom. Uh, I'm not going to take that one down. It's a pain in the butt to uh, get back up. But they are... This one is just one... Just a little bit bigger than the original. Now let's go ahead and move the camera. And we're going to go ahead and just run the camera over top. So you guys get a good look at all the detail on the Enterprise. All right, so now let me show you how to attach this to the display base. As you can see right there, it attaches to the battery compartment. Just slide it there. There's the batteries. And if you don't want it on the display, it does come with a separate display cover. I'm not going to take it out of the pouch. 
pouch is sealed. I'm going to keep it that way because I have no plans for it. And then you just slide it back on. And Bob's your uncle. I don't know if, I don't know if Bob really is your uncle. It's just a saying I like to use. So now let's go ahead and take a look at... Well, first let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom portion of the Enterprise. Other accessories that this comes with. Once again it comes with the exact same stickers as the other one that I showed you. Once again I'm not going to put the stickers on. Very old. Uh, I'm sure if these stickers got taken off of here they would no longer stick. So I'm just going to leave them there. We have the Certificate of Authenticity, Star Trek The Next Generation 7th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition, Starship Enterprise is certified as a limited issue collector's item. This item is limited to a production run of 50,000 units under exclusive contract with Toys R Us Inc Incorporated. Each product and package is individually numbered. Playmates Toys Incorporated, Paramount Pictures. And then just like with the other Enterprise that we went over, that I've shown you throughout this video. This does come with schematics. Starfleet USS Enterprise, Star Trek The Next Generation. Shows you the saucer module, main bridge, main shuttle bay, main impulse engine, aft phasers, battle section, warp engine nacelle, and impulse engine. As well as the deflector array, docking port, tractor beam emitter, Main deflector dish, captain's yacht, and ventral phaser array. The USS Enterprise NCC-1701D is a galaxy-class starship and was completed in the year 2363, holding a complement of 900 crew members with a maximum load of 800 passengers. The galaxy-class starship is the largest in the known galaxy. Equipped with Type-X phasers, the Starship Enterprise is capable of firing a beam of 5.1 megawatts at any target within a 360 degree field of fire. The deflector shield configuration for the USS Enterprise provides protection from natural hazards as well as attack from unfriendly forces. 1992 Paramount Pictures, all rights reserved, Star Trek The Next Generation, and all related marks are trademark of Paramount Pictures. Playmates Toys Hong Kong, LTD, authorized user, printed in Hong Kong. This blueprint is a blueprint of the Enterprise as used in the Star Trek TV show and does not depict the actual function or the internal components 
of this toy. So there you have it, my friends. This was the Star Trek The Next Generation 7th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition Starship Enterprise Limited Edition Gold Decorated USS Enterprise number 19273 of 50,000. We have a lot of videos and playlists on this channel, so if you enjoyed this content, make sure you click here to visit our channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Click here and here to check out one of the many playlists we have.